Good morning one and all and welcome to the video. This video is essentially for a beginner guides on how to do a stress testing using Apache JMeter on Elasticsearch. In my last class I taught you about, essentially I showed you our results on how I did stress tests on Elasticsearch with different shards, different replicas and I, sh and I showed you a result about that. We came across very interesting facts such as uh, it is not necessarily saying that increasing number of shards will give you uh, better results. Decreasing shards gave us a better result. Uh, in my previous video, I showed you all that graph, right? So uh, in order to do some testing, I use Apache JMeter to do all that testing. In this video, I'll be teaching you how to set up a test plan, how to essentially do your stress testing on your Elasticsearch index. So let's get started with this video. All right, I'm gonna share my screen. Uh, let me do that. Okay, hopefully you guys can see my screen. I do have some test plan, but assuming you don't know anything, I'm gonna start right from scratch. Okay, so I will um, I will uh, try to remove that, uh, or you know what, I'll, I'll start scratch. Okay, so the first thing that we need to do is you need to come to this website called Apache JMeter, and you need to click on the download link. The links would be there in the description where you can download that. Uh, once you have downloaded that, uh, then uh, this would be a zip file. Uh, you need to unzip it somewhere uh, in your computer. I essentially have done on my uh, desktop in a folder called work, in a folder called software. And that's my software called Apache JMeter 5.4.3. Then I'm going to go to the bin. Here I'm going to, essentially there will be a bad file that you need to start. And give me a second, I usually have a hard time always locating that. Oh, it's a shell file, my bad. Uh, was it a bat or a shell file? I don't remember. <laughs> let me see. Uh, let me increase this. Oh, this one, Apache JMeter.bat. I think it's a bat file, my bad. <laughs> so after you start this, um, uh, Apache JMeter uh, might take a while. So let's wait. Okay, so the Apache JMeter is now starting. I'll teach you how to set up a test plan and stuff like that for your elk, okay? So, okay. So let's resize the window a little bit so we could work more efficiently here. Okay, this is good. Um, over here, let's name this as Elasticsearch uh, Index. Elast so first of all, before doing anything, right, let's head over to Kibana. I have a sample index called uh, e-commerce data, right? Essentially, um, I have some query that does aggregation and search, right? So we are going to do some t uh, stress test there, right? So, and then you can, if you want, you can provide the index name. Okay, so that's that. Uh, let's uh, add some comments. All right, so that's great. Uh, now what we can do is uh, we need to click on add and we need to click on add thread group. So this is essentially the number of users uh, that are being simulated. Uh, so we'll call it active user. We'll do for um, 500 user. Uh, first we'll do for 500 users. Ramp up time is after how many time the, the users are coming. So when you say one, that means uh, every one second a new user is popping up. Uh, uh, or if you put it point, point one, so then this would be essentially, if I read the definition right on the internet, I think it's point one. So if you say it point, uh, if you set it to point one, then you divide by 500. Uh, was that the right stuff? I think so, but we can double check on the ramp up period on Google. So Apache J meter ramp up time because i don't want to comment on anything on the on, on anything wrong the ramp up period tells the jmeter how long to take the ramp up to to the full number of thread choose if 10 users uh, if 10 threads are used and the ramp up period is uh, is 100 second then jmeter will take 100 seconds to get all the 10 threads okay so it takes uh, so that means if i put one that means jmeter will take one one second to to add all the hundred users, that's a massive stre stress test. Just, just so you guys know. So whatever. So that's that. After that, uh, we need to uh, essentially click on add, and uh, we need to click on HTTP request. So we'll click on HTTP request over here. Now over here, uh, we're we are gonna make a. So let's name this. Uh, We'll name this as searching on Elasticsearch. Uh, I'm using it on my local host, so uh, you know I'm just gonna provide the, that details. So the protocol would be HTTP uh, over here 127.0.0.1.0.1, and you can provide the domain name or whatever you're using. Uh, 9,200. Uh, we'll be using a post request, and uh, we would be hitting uh, essentially this endpoint. So we'll say slash that 
slash underscore search, right? Um, then uh, we'll provide a sample search query, uh, just a simple aggregation query that I wrote. Uh, I'm gonna give this search query. So let's open up JMeter. Uh, on the bottom section, uh, make sure uh, follow redirects and keep alive is ticked. Uh, go to body data, uh, dump that in. We are not done. Uh, we are not yet done yet. We need to add a HTTP header. So click on the top Elasticsearch add and uh, I think it was somewhere. Let me see if I can find that HTTP header manager. Click on that. Now drag this towards the active user. Okay, so I'm gonna drag this over here. Oops, uh, this has to be uh, this has this has to be above that. Okay, so HTTP header and then the search. Okay, this is the order you gotta follow. Then uh, we'll add the content type here. Uh, so we'll click on add content type. We'll use application JSON because we are passing in a JSON. Um, that's that good. Now we need to add some reports, right? So essentially, again, click here, add. Uh, oops, I think I did on the wrong one though. I said, I think you have to click on the uh, active user add, then we'll click on sampler. Oh, sorry, we, 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 we want to add a listener, my bad. Uh, so my bad, sorry, sorry, sorry about that. So we'll click on listener, we'll click on summary report. This will give us a nice summary report. Again, uh, click on the top, uh, add, then we'll click on a listener. Uh, then we'll uh, essentially say view aggregate reports. We want to have an aggregate report add. Uh, now you can add as many you know reports do you want. Uh, for example, then we can add view result tree. We want to do that. Then uh, we want to uh, add on one more listener. Uh, there should be something for response time graph. Yeah, response time graph. Okay, so let's go to active user 500 one second. That, that, that's a little too much, but we'll put it 10 seconds. So in 10 seconds, 500 users are gonna hit my Elasticsearch, which means uh, Elasticsearch index. So so 10 divided by 500. After every 0 0.02 second, a new user is gonna come up. Okay, so yeah, the test looks great, and let let's hit the triangle button on here. So we'll hit. Uh, you should save your test plan before saving. Uh, we'll click on yes. Um, now I think we want to save it somewhere, so we'll call, go to desktop. Uh, we will select this PC, download. Oh, oh my bad. We'll name it whatever. The the extension should be J JMX. Okay. So with that being said, now my my test is running. As you can see, uh, they are running currently 500 user 10 seconds, which means. Uh, uh, so as you can see now, um, the test is complete at this point. Now I can go to the summary report. So I can see now uh, on an average, uh, it's taking about 20 milliseconds, right? To hit my cluster. I mean the response from that index, right? Uh, aggregation reports, you can get that. Uh, these are the response. So essentially we were hitting, uh, you can check the exact uh, request that's being done. You can check the response as well. That's the response. So, um, all the so that the green tick means that everyone was successful right uh, timing time graph you have that as well we can now take it to our next level man now you can clear this up if you want to do a massive test now <laughs> man make this to make this to 1200 and then make it to one which means you know what after <laughs> this is a very <laughs> Uh, so I think every this many uh, time a new user, this is a massive test. Okay. So, uh, and I'm doing it on my local computer though, but, uh, so we'll clear that up. Uh, let's fire this up. I'm pretty sure I'm just going to fail, but uh, it's, it's very interesting to see. So I think it's done. Uh, as you can see, most of them, they, they failed. Some of them worked. So there is a limit to which, uh, you can, <laughs> you know, so now you can see average time bumped up 517 milliseconds, you know, uh, as you can see, we, we are bumping that guy up, right? So, um, uh, not sure why this one did not load. Oh, I think I have to, uh, let's make this to 800 milliseconds and take a look at the response time graph. So you could do that. Um, so now what you can do is in order to optimize that, you can change the number of shard, use shrink API, re-index API, then again do testing and then check out your response time. And that way you can do, tune in your Elasticsearch cluster, right? So, but this is how you would essentially set up tests uh, on JMeter uh, for your Elasticsearch index. Hope this was useful. If you want more such tutorials and videos, let me know that in the comment section below. I would create more and more tutorials on JMeter, more test plans on Elasticsearch, tuning Elasticsearch, right? So for example, um, remember I did this on this one, right? I also created a index with uh, 20 shards, right? So um, now if you wanna, 
so what i'm trying to say is so so for example this one took 517 milliseconds right i know that right so now what i can do okay let me see if i can um, bring this down by changing the number of shards right so these are some of the tests you want to do right so um, um yeah le le let me see this one uh, this one okay go slash at least start so that's for the 20 shots that i'm doing now uh oh did i do anything okay yeah so that's that and uh let me, so remember it was 517 milliseconds right so let me see the active user the same test now we are hitting more number of shots right so <laughs> we are bombarding the cluster right now with so many massive requests um so 1200 uh, and one second so in one second all the 1200 users are gonna hit the cluster uh most of them are red as you can see some of them are green okay uh but if you see the aggregation report uh now it took two seconds right so increasing shards um essentially degraded the performance here in this scenario so all i'm trying to say is uh, you can actually do very very interesting test using this uh tool apache jmeter and uh, you can then tune in your index with the right number of shards right number of replicas replica help you to achieve more read throughput which means if you it can serve much more concurrent user play with this and let me know your thoughts okay with that being said thank you so much for watching hope you have enjoyed it keep smiling keep programming see you guys in the next